Hey everyone, thanks for being a part of the coaches clinic this year. Um, as far as everything on the pitching side goes, um, the first thing I kind of wanted to cover with everyone was just having some universal goals as of what we're trying to accomplish over the winter leading into the season. Um, the first part I want to kind of go over is with the high school guys. Um, with the high school guys, we've done a pretty good job in the past of just teaching them the basics of having a good repeatable delivery, um, being sound with their mechanics and things like that. But the thing I want our high school guys to be more focused on this year is being better movers. Um, Trent with Exos has been a strong advocate for this as well. Um, the reason I want our high school guys to be better movers is because up to this point, I really feel across the board that our high school guys are pretty good throwers already. I mean, there's some guys that are still lacking with having a explosive quick twitch throw and they're kind of hesitating and aiming with their arm, but overall they do a pretty good job. Um, with that, I got some notes here that I want to kind of cover with you guys. Um, when our body is moving efficiently and getting in the right positions before the throw, the throw is going to take care of itself. Um, if we're moving well, if we're moving with a smooth lower half, if our front foot strike is hitting the ground, without any buckling from our front leg, then yeah, it's gonna be easier for us to just make that throw. Um, we gotta remember the last thing that we're doing within our pitching delivery is throwing. So everything that happens with our movements before the throw is gonna ultimately set up that throw. So that's what I want our high school guys to focus on is being better movers before their front foot hits the ground and it's time to make that throw down to their catcher. Um, and the, th the last thing is, is these guys got to remember where to throw as it relates to a reference point on their bodies. Um, I always tell our guys to throw over their front leg. With some of these guys, it's telling themselves to throw over their knee, throw over their front foot. Um, but if our front leg is moving towards the catcher with our stride and it's landing in front of our catcher, then with our throwing arm, we just need to make sure that that throwing arm is getting over the front leg without hesitation. So that ball is traveling on a line to our catcher and it's making that hitter have less time to decide if he's going to take or swing. So that's kind of where I want to go with the high school guys, just from a very, very simple approach is just being better movers. And that's something that we're going to cover uh, with our winter practices with those guys is being more mechanically sound, being more movement sound. And yes, of course, we're gonna be working on fastball location, change up location, uh, breaking balls and stuff like that. But again, we need to have better movements with our pitching delivery for the rest of that to take care of itself. Um, so that's kind of where I wanna go with the high school guys. Um, with the youth pitchers, it's kind of the inverse. Um, in years prior, we've kind of really, really, really harped on those guys being mechanically sound, learning the basics of their pitching movements. And yes, that's something that we need to continue to do. We need to continue to have these guys be balanced on their back leg, having their front side moving towards the catcher. And like the high school guys, telling yourself to throw over your front leg without trying to use your front arm to open up to make that throw. Um, but with the youth guys, they need to learn to be better throwers. Um, I see it all too often at that age is when guys aren't getting the results they want, they tend to hesitate with their throws. They tend to taper off with their arm speed just to throw a strike. Um, and I get it. At, at, at that age, you guys are trying to teach them to minimize walks, minimize the free patch with a hit by a pitch, you name it. Um, but at the same time, when it comes to pitching development, if we're teaching those guys to taper off with their arm seat, with their arm speed and to just throw strikes, then it just makes it that much harder when we develop them at the high school age to do both. Because kind of like what I pointed out with the high school guys, we're trying to teach them to be better movers with their body. So if these youth guys are not being, being efficient throwers, that at the high school age, you know, myself and the other pitching instructors, we're gonna have to teach these guys to be 
better movers with their body, and we're gonna have to teach them to become, to become better throwers. So one thing that I really like the youth guys to do this winter when there's no, when there's no re results involved is teach these guys how to throw. Take away the results. Um, get these guys comfortable with throwing the baseball with confidence and intent. And there's things that I'll do later in later videos as this coach, coach's clinic goes on is to show you guys drills to do these things. So um, the high school guys, again, we're gonna teach those guys just from a very simple perspective to be better movers. And youth guys, we just want them to become better throwers. So in later videos that I'm gonna attach with this, we'll go over that.